Hey, what's up? Adam from Switchboard and another tutorial. Uh, in this one, we are going to use uh, Canvas and Pabli Connect and some data in Google Sheets to create a number of t-shirt images uh, for a sample e-commerce site or something like that. So we're going to have some text and we're going to print the text on the front of a number of t-shirt product shots. Um, so let's get into it. I'm here in Canvas and I'm going to create the product shot with a generic t-shirt and then we're going to switch uh, the product out with some text using the data in Google Sheets. So I'm going to start by adding an image to this. This is just a background image. I'm going to use this um, sort of white floorboard shot. Um, I'm just going to call this background and then I'm going to add another image and I've got a t-shirt here. This is the product and I'm just going to pin this to the edges. I'm going to use the red uh, t-shirt for the template, but this t-shirt will be switched out with other uh, colors of the t-shirt when we connect it to the data. So I'm going to contain it to the bounding box, reduce the opacity, and I'm going to call this uh, shirt. This is what will reference this element uh, by when we access it with uh, Pabli and the data. Lastly, some text. Um, this template is 1080 by 1080, so having done this a few minutes ago, I know that this is something like 2325 from the edges, and it's uh, something like 330 from the top, which is pretty ideal. I'm going to come in and choose uh, a font for this one. I don't know, let's say. Uh, this one, nothing you could do, I guess that's fine. Um, here is where the text goes. So we can position this and set it to the right height where we would imagine this uh, text to go. We can also set the color. Uh, these properties, of course, can all be overridden when the t-shirt is created. So this one I'll call quote, and then I'll save the template. Okay, so the template's done. It has a red t-shirt, has some text on the front of it. I'm going to switch over to Google Sheets. Um, here is now where I sort of have my inventory. And what I want uh, the system to do is to go through each uh, row of this uh, spreadsheet and create the image uh, with this color t-shirt, red, blue, yellow, and white. Create an image of this size, all of them being 1080 by 1080 for this demo and the URL for the generated image to come back and be saved uh, in this column. So what I've also got is in column A is just an enable um, flag really where I could set this to no if for, if for whatever reason I didn't want to uh, include certain styles. So I've got the template, I've got the data, and now I'm going to use Pabli Connect to uh, wire everything up. So what we're going to do is come into Pabli, create a new workflow. I'm just going to call this uh, T-shirts. So what we need at the beginning of this uh, workflow is some way to get the quote text into the workflow. So I'm going to use uh, a webhook. And a webhook is really just a URL that just listens for a request, listens for something or somebody to call it, and will listen for the data that comes in with that request. So what I'm going to do is uh, copy this um, webhook. I'm going to go to a new browser tab, and uh, I'm actually just going to drop my browser down a little bit like so, so you can see this. And I'm just going to call um, the webhook, and I'm going to pass this parameter in on uh, the query string as part of the URL. So the quote, I'm just going to say, what's up, folks? And I'm going to call that. And this response here just says success, response accepted. This has come from Pabli to say that um, the uh, response has been received over at Pabli. And if we come back to Pabli, we can see that the quote, um, what's up, folks, has been received into the workflow. Now this, we used a webhook, but really this should come from 
some other system, some other part of your e-commerce system maybe, or some other trigger um, that you want to use to um, begin this workflow, which will which will create all of the images of, of the T-shirts. We just used a webhook. It's a convenient way of getting some data into uh, the workflow. Okay, so we've got the quote. Next thing we want to do is connect to Google Sheets. Um, so we'll choose this. And the action is actually look up spreadsheet rows because we want to go through each row um, in uh, the spreadsheet. So I'm going to select that. T-shirt inventory is um, the, the sheet that we want to connect to. So that's good. And it's the first sheet. And the lookup column is basically saying, how do you want me to uh, find the rows? What's the criteria for the rows that you want me to return? And we're going to say it's where we've said yes in the <coughs> in the enable column. So the lookup column uh, is A, because that's the first column. And the value we're looking for is just yes, because that's our flag for whether to include it or not. Include headers true, we can leave these values. Uh, what I'm going to do is take off simple response and then save and send test request. Okay, so this comes back with some data and the data we're interested in is this response result. And this sort of really looks like garbage, but it's all the data from um, the spreadsheet. And this is exactly what we want to see in this format. So the next thing we're going to add uh, to this is another Pabli uh, app, and it's the Iterator. So what this will do is we'll loop through each of the rows from the spreadsheet that it found in the previous step. So it's going to perform our subsequent workflow steps with each row that it has found. So if we save this, what it's going to show us now is one row. So we can see that the shirt um, URL is red.png. That's going to point to our red t-shirt. Um, and the height of the image we want is 1080. The width of the image we want is 1080. And it's the second row. The row index there is the second row in the sheet. So that's all fine. Um, we can save this. Now what we need to do uh, is call Canvas to create um, an image with that data. So we'll use the Pabli Switchboard Canvas uh, app. Create image is the, uh, the action. I'm going to connect this uh, to Canvas with uh, the API key that I've already added into this. OK, so T-shirt is the, um, the template that we've just created. And now we're going to wire up or connect these uh, values to some the data that we've already uh, already got within this workflow. So the width of the t-shirt, we're going to look that up from the uh, the iterator. So we're coming down to the iterator here. Width, we're going to choose this value here. And the same with the height. Iterator, get the height out, 1080 by 1080. Um, the shirt, uh, I'm going to come back to that in a second. The quote though, this is what's going to come from our webhook right at the beginning. Um, and you can see it's brought in the value already. What's up, folks? So we're just going to leave that. Now I'm going to come back to the shirt. Now the shirt images, um, I've got here red PNG, blue PNG, yellow PNG, white PNG. These images um, have to be hosted somewhere so that Switchboard Canvas can go and find them um, and bring them into your design when it creates the image. So what I've done uh, for this demo is actually hosted these um, on AWS uh, S3, and what I'm going to do is grab the URL to where those images are stored. Um, this is where my images are stored uh, at this address. But instead of this white PNG, I'm actually going to grab the file name from uh, the iterator from the previous step. So this will fetch a file called red.png from where my shirt images are saved. Okay, so I think that's everything on there. Let's um, send a test request for that. Give that a second. That's come back successful. Here is the uh, 
the generated image. So let's just have a look at that and make sure that's come back. Okay, what's up folks? There's the t-shirt image. Great, okay, so next step. Now that we have uh, a URL being generated, what we need to do is go back and update the Google Sheets to put the URL in the image URL column, which is column E. So I'm going to come back, add action, Google Sheets again, um, action event. This time it is uh, update cell value. So I'm going to connect, same Google Sheet connection as before. Uh, T-shirt inventory, that's the right sheet, uh, sorry, that's the right spreadsheet, sheet's the right sheet. Now here's the range. So when we look at the range we want to update, it's basically column E, and we need that row index from the previous step. So I'm going to enter E, and then the row index is in the iterator, and it's right there, row index 2 that we used uh, in this, uh, this run-through. Um, and then the value that we want to put in that cell comes from canvas. That's not right. comes from canvas right here. There's the URL right there. So that's the value that we want uh, to put back into the cell. So save and uh, send a test request. That looks like it's updated. I'll jump back to the tab. You can see there it has... Um, put the uh, the URL back um, in the spreadsheet, which is great. So what I'm going to do is actually delete this. I'm going to do a full test, come back to Pabli. Um, I think this is uh, I think this is ready to go. It's, it's already on dashboard. Um, <clears throat> and I'm going to come back to my URL here. This is the webhook URL that I used a second ago, and I'm going to put a new quote in here, and I'm going to say, "This is the main test!" Exclamation. Run this. Hopefully, we get a response accepted. We did, which is great. So then I'm just going to remove this to come back to the main browser. Okay, so now in the inventory, we can see it is slowly. Uh, trickling through. It's actually done, already done all four of them. But if we click on, say, the blue link here, there's the blue t-shirt. This is the main test. Close this, have another go with the yellow one. Click the link. This is the main test. Um, so yeah, from here, this Google Sheets, um, we could use Pabli again to sync this to an e-commerce uh, site, WooCommerce or something like that. It's a classic use case of switchboard canvas, really, to create product uh, images and um, something you can do at scale. Um, yeah, this is. Um, I think this has been a, a pretty good, a pretty good use case. As I say, if you have any questions about how this has worked with Pabli or with Canvas, feel free to reach out and ask. Um, there is a chat button in the bottom right corner on our site. And as always, we would love to hear from you. Hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you on the next one.